Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's No Bull Beer Reviews. Today I have another beer from uh, Hitchhiker Brewing Company out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, this beer is called The Shakes. And by that name and the picture, I'm sure you can tell it's a coffee beer. It's a uh, coffee porter and it is 5.9 ABV. Um, really no other description on here, but I think it uh, pretty much speaks for itself, so... Crack it open and see what we got here. <clears throat> okay. So as you can see, it pours a, a pretty dark brown to black color. It's uh, with a nice, about a finger's worth of um, tan head, beige to tan head. Uh, so there's definitely some uh, coffee in the aroma, um, or a good bit of coffee in the aroma, actually. I would say <clears throat> it's kind of non-distinct generic coffee. It actually, to me, comes off more as um, just roasted malts than actual coffee, which is interesting. And there is, like, a slight metallic character to it, too. But sometimes you can get that from coffee styles. That's really nice. Um, I will fully admit that I hadn't, I haven't been the biggest fan um, or supporter of Hitchhiker recently, you know, especially given this channel. Uh, but most of that was because of a lot of the other stuff I was reviewing was the, were the really gimmicky, goofy stouts with cereal in them or the IPAs with fruit and lactose and all this other crap in it, like... Uh, this, you know, obviously it has coffee in it, and it's not, I will say the base beer is not super hefty, but it's full-bodied enough to, where it doesn't just taste like you're drinking coffee, or I shouldn't say taste, but it doesn't just feel like you're just drinking coffee, like it's not as watery as coffee, um, And it does kind of have an underlying roast that to me seems like it's from the beer rather than the coffee itself. Uh, but it is really clean. It has a, a really nice coffee presence. To me, it's really, like a lot of a lot of coffee beers are either A, not much coffee, or so overloaded with coffee, it's like you're just drinking cold brew. Um, and this is kind of a nice balance in between the two. Uh, now this beer isn't as big, um, and not, I wouldn't say it's quite as good, but to be honest, it kind of reminds me of uh, like a smaller version of Burial's uh, Skillet, which to me that's pretty high praise because that's one of my favorite coffee, coffee beers to be honest. I like this because it definitely does taste like coffee, but it's not super bitter and acrid, um, but it's also not like green peppery either, like that... If, it, if it's super bitter and acrid or green peppery, like, I don't want it. This is neither one of those. This is really nice, clean coffee uh, with, I mean, there's not much, like I said, there's not much going on with the base beer, but it's big enough where it still feels like you're drinking a beer and does have some underlying roast to it. Uh, I will say this is probably, I'm trying to think. Some of, some of the regular IPAs aren't bad either, but this is probably the most well-crafted um, beer that I've had from Hitchhiker, to be honest. There's nothing special about it, but I think it's pretty well done for what it's supposed to be. A really nice, like, lower alcohol um, coffee porter slash stout. And like I said, it's very, very clean. There's, there's zero, um, like, off flavors to it at all. There's none of that green pepper crap, anything. Uh, it's just a really, really nice drinking coffee beer. 
Um, my buddy who got me this said, he's like, yeah, this is definitely one of my, one of the better beers from them. People don't care about it as much because they do all the other goofy stuff, but this is actually one of their better well-crafted beers, and I completely, completely agree with that. This is really nice. Um, and I'm a big, I'm a sucker for coffee stouts slash borders anyways, but this is a really well done one. Um, it's not like crazy nuanced, but it's just really tasty. And uh, if I wanted this type of beer, I would definitely get the job done. So I'm going to give this one a buy. I don't know what it costs because my buddy bought it for me. But based on what their other things cost, they're pretty reasonably priced. Um, so I'm guessing it's probably like 4 to four fifty a can, 16 to 18 some somewhere in that range. Maybe even a little less because it's smaller in alcohol. Uh, so I, I would definitely buy this again. I think it's pretty tasty. If I wanted to drink a coffee lower alcohol coffee stout that was packaged um because there's a couple that are on draft or not a couple but there's one on draft that i think is better from brew gentlemen but you know this one is one that's packaged that i can just drink out of cans which is nice so i, w I would buy this again I, I think it's pretty good um you know so well done hitchhiker on this one uh and i would really like to try i don't know if there's a double shakes um i'm assuming there is but i don't know if there's a double shakes but i know there are triple shakes which I have not had, but I would really like to try that. Um, I've heard it's basically like 11% cold brew, which is fine, but I would like to try that um, based on this because I think this is pretty well done. So I would uh, definitely buy this again. But I think that's all I got on this one. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think, and I look forward to doing the next one. Thanks.